good morning dear students today we will discuss about the antenna so there are contents what is antenna transmitter antenna receiver antenna yagyuda antenna and log periodic antenna helix antenna parabolic loop and antenna array so these are some contents in this topics so we will discuss these contents one by one in this topic so first of all what is the antenna an antenna is an electrical device which convert electrical energy into radio waves and vice versa it is usually used by the radio transmitter or radio receiver so an antenna is an device for sending or receiving electromagnetic waves so what is the transmitter antenna transmitter antenna a device that convert sound light or electrical signal into radio microwave or other electrical signal and what is the receiver antenna receiver antenna and antenna used to convert electromagnetic wave into electrical energy so these are the transmitter antenna and receiver antenna so type of antenna there are different type of antenna first yagi uda antenna second log periodic antenna next helix antenna parabolic and loop antenna so there are some types of antenna what is yagi uda antenna yagi uda antenna consist of deflector director and driven elements so it is unidirectional antenna and frequency range of the yagi uda antenna is 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz here are seven elements yagi uda antenna diagram so here in seven element yagi uda there is a reflector driven voltage dipole and also it directors in seven element yagi uda antennas what is the yagi uda antenna advantage so yagi uda antenna have high gain and good front to back ratio it has narrow bandwidth it is fixed frequency device greater directivity due to director and reflectors next one is log periodic antenna log periodic antenna a unidirectional antenna in which the length and space of the elements increase logarithmically from one end to the other end and it is frequency independent antenna and frequency range of the log periodic antenna that is vhf and uhf band this is the diagram of logic log periodic antenna in which balance feeder and direction of a beam and angle alpha so this is the shape of log periodic antenna and uh, there are some advantage of log periodic antenna so it is broadband antenna and it is unidirectional and it is frequency independent antenna next antenna is the helix antenna 
a conducting wire in the form of a screw thread feed by power source the feed line is connected between the bottom of the helix and ground plane so helix antenna is omnidirectional and have the frequency range vhf and uhf band so this is the shape of helix antenna in which diagram there is a ground plane and helical radiating elements application of helical antenna so this is used in satellite communication and space communication and space probes for telemetry application also next antenna is parabolic reflector antenna this is used to convert spherical wave into plane wave so the feed antenna is called primary antenna and reflector is called secondary antenna the frequency range of this parabolic reflector antenna is 3 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz this is the shape of the parabolic reflector antenna in which parallel so here parallel rays and paraboloid axis focal point and aperture plane in this diagram applications so application in radar communication satellite communication of the parabolic reflector antenna next antenna is loop antenna so a directional type antenna consisting of one or more complete turns of a conductor and it determine the direction of arrival of radio signals and frequency range 500 to 6 1600 kilohertz so this is the range of the loop antenna frequency range this is the shape of the loop antenna application of loop antenna direction handling of signal propagation radio am fm modulation reception and long distance point to point communication next antenna array so what is the antenna array array are used to increase directivity and gain in desired directions and eliminate the radiation in undesired directions so first is broadside array if the direction of maximum radiation is generated is perpendicular is called broadside array each antenna is fed by the current of some magnitude and phase so radiation pattern is by direction of the broadside array so this is the top view of the broadside array next array is end fire array so in the maximum radiation is generated parallel to the antenna array axis is called end fire array each antenna is fed by the current same magnitude and opposite phase and radiation pattern is bidirectional so this is the top view and side view of the end fire array diagram so all the antenna are very useful in all the applications such as transmitter and <clears throat> receivers and antenna are used to convert electrical energy to electromagnetic energy next antenna is the micro strip patch antenna 
So in micro step patch antenna, we will discuss about the design of micro step patch antenna. So what is the need of antenna in progress of communication system? And to study micro step patch antenna, to design and implement this antenna using software H FSS version 11.0. So we can design the micro step antenna with the help of software HFSS version of 11.0. So how does an antenna work? Antenna is one type of transducer that <clears throat> convert the electrical energy into the electromagnetic energy in form of electromagnetic waves. Antenna are required by any radio receiver or transmitter to couple its electrical connection to the electromagnetic field. What is the antenna characteristics? So there are some characteristics of antenna here. First, power gain, directivity, antenna, radiation pattern, and polarization. So these are the characteristics of antenna. So in micro strip antenna developed after revolution in electronic circuit many actualization and LSI in 1970 and used on rocket and missile previously designers choice. So what is micro strip patch antenna? A micro strip patch antenna consists of a radiating patch on one side of dielectric substrate which has a ground plane on the other side. So invented by Bob Munson in 1972, but earlier work by the Chimps goes back to 1953. So there are different parameters of micro strip antenna. In this given diagrams, L of the micro strip patch element length and omega is the width of the micro strip patch element and T is the thickness of patch and H is the height of the dielectric substrate. So these are the some parameters of micro strip. Argentina. Basic principle of micro strip antenna. The patch act approximate as a resonant cavity short circuit wall on the top and bottom, open circuit walls on the sides. In a cavity, only certain modes are allowed to exist. A different resonant frequencies. If the antenna is excited at a resonant frequency, a strong field is set up inside the cavity and a strong current on the bottom surface of the patch. This produces significant radiation, a good antenna. So here a given micro strip patch antenna diagram. So we can design different shape, micro strip patch antenna in different shapes. So these are some shapes, square, rectangular, dipole, circular, triangular, circular ring and elliptical. So we can design a micro strip patch patch antenna in the these given shapes. 
what is the advantage of micro strip patch antenna so micro strip patch antenna have light weight and low volume and low profile planar compression which can be easily made conformal to host surface and low fabrication cost hence can be manufactured in large quantities supports both linear as well as circular polarization and can be easily integrated with microwave integrated circuit mic and capable of dual and triple frequency operations and mechanically robust when mounted on rigid surface so these are the some advantage of the micro strip antenna also there are some disadvantage so micro strip patch antenna have the narrow bandwidth low efficiency low gain and poor and fire radiator except tapered slot antenna low power handling capacity and surface wave excitations so feed technique so what is the feed technique to a micro strip antenna micro strip antenna can be feed by variety of methods this method can be classified into two categories contacting and non contacting the four most popular feed technique used are so micro strip lines co axial pro aperture coupling feeding and proximity coupling feeding so these are some feed technique for the micro strip patch antenna and a software also used to design micro strip patch antenna so hfss is commercial finite element method solver for electromagnetic structure from nss corp and hfss stand for high frequency structural simulator hfss stand for high frequency structural simulator it is one of the several commercial tools used for antenna design it was developed by professor john tal kents and his students at carnegie mellon university in year 1989 to so design specifications now we take the dielectric constant epsilon r equal to 2.2 and 12 between 12 and 2.2 and frequency uh, 1.85 to 1.9 gigahertz and height equal to 0.003 and height is less than 0.05 lambda not less than and greater than lambda and velocity of light c equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 milli per second and practically breadth w so less than lambda not where lambda not is the free space wavelength and practically length equal to less than 0.5 lambda not and greater on 33 lambda not so these are the designs specifications for the uh, micro strip patch antenna so here we calculate the some parameters for the designing purpose so frequency f not can be calculated by f equal to c upon 2 under root epsilon r Into m upon l whole square plus n upon w 
whole square that is square root under square root where m and n are modes along l and w respectively so for efficient radiation the width w is given by del n bar 10 as w equal to c upon 2 f naught under root er plus 1 upon 2 where c is the 3.8 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second epsilon r equal to 11.9 and frequency f naught equal to 1.8 gigahertz therefore width w equal to 31.9 m so epsilon r equal to epsilon r plus 1.2 plus epsilon r minus 1 upon 2 into 1 plus 12 h upon omega that is the root square under root so here uh, epsilon r equal to 11.9 h equal to 1.59 mm and w equal to 31.9 mm therefore epsilon reference is equal to 10.7611 and also length change in length del L equal to 0.412H into epsilon reference plus 0.3 into W upon H plus 0.264 divided by epsilon reference minus 0.258 into W upon H plus 0.8 where ER equal to 11.9, H equal to 1.59 mm and W equal to 31.9 mm. Therefore, the value of del L is 6.72 into 10 to the power minus 1 mm. So this is the value of change in length. So effective length of the patch L effective now become L effective equal to L plus 2 del L for a given resonance frequency F note the effective length is given by 9 as L effective equal to C upon 2 F note under root epsilon reference. So F note equal to 1.85 gigahertz and epsilon reference equal to 10.7611 and C equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Therefore, the value of <coughs> effective length is 24.7 mm and value of L will be 23.6 mm. So this is the patch antenna which is powered by a ear box. This is the vapor port. And determination of center frequency using parameters. So this is the center frequency using by different parameters. This can be calculated with the help of HFSS softwares. This is the X, Y plots. And also this is the VSWR plot of micro strip H antenna. And this is the perfect assigned to substrate of micro strip H antenna. And this is perfect assigned to patch. So all these are performed by the 
HFSS software. Application of micro strip patch antenna. The use of micro strip patch antenna for integrated phase array systems used in GPS satellite navigational system technology and mobile satellite communication, the direct broadband satellite system and remote sensing, and also non-satellite based applications such as medical hyperthermia. So design of a patch antenna using and soft HFSS software has been shown here. Our project to design a micro strip antenna, which is based on micro strip uh, feed line technique. These are the reference references. There are some multi-choice questions for this topics. So we will discuss these multi-choice questions by one by one. <clears throat> Question first, which among the following is an application of high frequency. Option A, sonar. Option B, sub-surface communication. Option C, radio navigation. Option D, facimiles. So correct answer is option D, facimile, which among the following is an application of high frequency. In net questions, wave front is basically a locus of points acquiring similar first phase V frequency, C amplitude, and D wave equations. So, wave is basically a locus of point acquired similar to a phase. So, here correct answer is. Option A. In next questions, in which kind of waveform is the phase velocity defined? Phase velocity defined. Option A, sinusoidal. Option B, rectangular. Option C, square. Option D, triangular. So here, correct answer is A, sinusoidal. Which kind of waveform is phase velocity defined by the sinusoid? In next questions, which among the following is are not present in free space? Option A, solid bodies. Option B, ionized particles. Option C, interference, normal radiation and radio wave radiations. Option D, all of the above. So here, correct answer is option D. Which among the following is are not present in free space? So solid body is not present in free space, ionized particles, and interference of normal radiation and radio wave propagation. So correct answer is all of the above. So all of the above is not present in the free space.
in equations, power density is basically term as power per unit area. P power density. Option A reflected, option B refracted, option C, C radiated, option D diffracted. So power density is basically term as radiated power per unit area. So correct answer is option A because power density is basically term as a radiated power per unit area. So this is the definition of the power density. If the next question is, if the path difference of two waves with single source traveling by different path to arrive at the same point is lambda by two, so what would be the phase difference between them? So option A, beta into lambda by two. Option B, beta divided by lambda by two. Option C, beta plus lambda by two. Option D, beta minus lambda by two. So here, the correct answer is option A, because if the path difference of two waves with single source tra traveling by different path to arrive at the same point, is lambda by two, okay? Lambda by two, part difference. What would be the phase difference between them? So phase difference will be beta multiply lambda by two or equal to V lambda upon two. So this is the phase difference between them. So here correct answer is option A. In next questions, which ionization layer exists during daytime and usually one is at night due to highest recombination rate? So option A, D region, option B, normal E region, option C, sporadic E region, option D, Appleton region. So, in this question, which ionization layer exists during daytime and usually one is at night due to highest recombination rate? So, D region is correct answer. So, option A is correct because D region exists during the daytime and when he says at night due to the highest recombination rate. So correct answer is option A, D region. Next, what is the possible range of height for the occurrence of sporadic E region with respect to normal E region. So option A 20 kilometer to 50 kilometer, option B 45 kilometer to 85 kilometer, option C 90 kilometer to 130 kilometer, option D 140 kilometer to 200 kilometers. So in this question, what is the possible range of height for the occurrence of sporadic E region with respect to normal E region. So answer is correct. That is 90 kilometer to 130 kilometer 
So option C is correct answer. In that questions, have two layer of Appleton region acts as significant reflecting medium for frequency radio waves. So, option A low, option B moderate, option C high, option D all of the above. So, F2 layer of Appleton region act as a significant reflecting medium for high frequency radio waves. So, high frequency radio waves have the very high velocity that is the 3.8 into 10 to the power 8. 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second or 3 lakh kilometer per second. So this is the radio waves velocity or electromagnetic wave velocity. So correct answer here is option C. The knowledge of which parameter is sufficient for driving the time varying electromagnetic field. The knowledge of which parameter is sufficient for driving the time varying electromagnetic fields. So option A, electric field intensity. Option B, magnetic field intensity. Option C, current density. And option D is power density. So here correct answer is the current density because to knowledge of which parameter is sufficient for driving the time varying electromagnetic field. So that is the current density. So correct answer is option C. In that questions, according to Wave Star Dictionary, what is an antenna? So, option A, impedance matching device. What is the antenna? Option B, sensor of electromagnetic waves. Transducer between guide wave and free space wave. And metallic device for radiating and receiving radio waves. So by the definition of antenna, so we have already discussed in this topics, the definition of antenna.
So definition of antenna. An antenna is an electrical device which convert electric energy into radio waves and vice versa. So it is usually used with a radio transmitter or radio receiver. An antenna also is a device for sending or receiving electromagnetic waves. So this is the definition of the antenna. So in that question, and also transmitter antenna, that is a device that converts sound, light, or electrical signal into radio, microwave, or other electrical signals. And receiver antenna is an antenna used to convert electromagnetic waves into a electrical energy. So these are the some definitions for the antenna. So in this question, the definition of antenna is that and correct answer of this question is that antenna is the metallic device for radiating or receiving radio waves. So radio waves are very, have the very high speeds or velocity that is three lakh kilometer per second. So this is the correct answers of the antenna. In that questions, under which conditions of charge does the radiation occurs through wire antenna? Option A for a charge with no motions, option B for a charge moving with uniform velocity with state and infinite wire. C for a charge oscillating in time motions. Option D, all of the above. So here, correct answer is option A for a charge with, sorry, option C is correct for a charge oscillating in time motions. So wire antenna is basically a loop antenna in which charge oscillating in the time motions. 